And you could see her thinking right then. And then she was actually thinking about somebody beating her and where would she be? Yeah. It'd like to be the end of the world for her. As a betting man, I feel we'll get the stoppage. That's how I feel. Some type of belt, uh, whether it's a international or a something like that, and then look at a world title shot. And then I boxed on Sky, I boxed Fowler, and then I boxed um, Troy Williamson on BT in a very controversial decision. So, and I think we're very close to um, having a fight. So hopefully. Next couple of days, we'll get something finalised and then I can be back into a proper fight. About 10th welterweight in the UK um, and I'm not bothered about fighting any of the welterweights. Yeah, I think they can expect a different Harry Scarf. I know I can be horrible, people have seen that in the past, but my boxing's good now and people that I used to spar and used to struggle with, it's easy work. I'll see you next week, hopefully. How <sighs> tears my eyes, sorry. What, tears of joy? Uh, no, no, you started, mate. Yeah, you're not yet. <laughs> I need to get out of this view because you can see my slippers and my sliders. There he is. So from Cliff then, listening to what Sandy's just said. I didn't hear what she said, to be fair. Did was, you? Not really. I wasn't really listening. Oh, I was uh, actually I had another student over there. Oh, right, yeah. She's not the only person I've got in the gym, I'd just like to say. Really? Yeah. But we are talking about Sandy now. It's uh, her, it's her, her attitude. Her <laughs> we call her Sandra. We can't call her Sandra. Or the gorilla. Why the gorilla? Uh, Paul Reddy nicknamed her the gorilla. Because she's, she's, she just likes eating, isn't it? Fighting, eating. Sitting there, eating. She likes eating. <laughs> Something wrong with her. It's like, do you know what was wrong with her? Eh? You see when she just had that little bit of an outburst, yeah? I wouldn't call that an outburst, though. <laughs> right, it was for her. Right. No, it's not. But um, it's because she's hungry. Uh, she gets right. angry. Yeah, she's, she's hungry. And you could see her thinking right then. And then she was actually thinking about somebody beating her and where would she be? Yeah. It'd like to be the end of the world for her. So that's the reason why I see that spark go off in her head. So you know, come next Saturday, it's big problems. Big problems. Big problems. Um, listen, this... What's the girl's name again? Don't ask me about names, because I'm rubbish on names. Ferris? Ferris? Yeah. All right. Um, that's no disrespect to the woman. I'm just very bad with names. Same, yeah. Um, very, very good opponent. Um, never been stopped. Yeah. Um... That's the first thing on her resume. Uh, she's boxed really top, top in the world at, in women's boxing. So for me, this is a, this is this this is a very good test for her. Uh, if I didn't think she could beat her, I wouldn't put her in there. I, I don't need to put. I don't need to be on that big stage uh, just because. Oh yeah get her on the big sky show I don't need to be up there understand I'm not doing it to get on telly I'm doing it because she is good enough to beat this girl um, as a betting man I feel we'll get the stoppage that's how I feel um, I'm not looking for it but I feel down the straight we'll, we will get we'll, we'll start getting older but that's no disrespect to her I just think Sandy's just that good and that's not trying to be big headed or anything. I'm just saying, I just feel she's good enough to stop her. Yeah, well, you've got to believe in your fighter. Yes, I do. Very much. So, what's next for her? Um, like I said, I don't want you to overlook opponents because you can't. You still, every fight's if a everything, risk. Everything, everything goes to plan. Yeah. And we get what we get. Yeah. Uh, I think it's down, then it's down to Eddie to um, either get, us, get some type of belt. Uh, whether it's a international or a something like that, and then look at a world title shot. I think one more, then look at a world title shot. I think she, for me, she could box a world title right now. I don't think. I mean, we're just trying to give a little bit more experience. I, 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 I feel people feel to forget that you know she was a top amateur at, and she's boxed. She's probably had about 90 amateur fights, so she's boxed all around the world. So she's got experience. She's got bags of experience. 
They're saying, oh yeah, it's, yeah, you need the rounds. She does rounds, she got the rounds in the bag. I'm not, um, me personally, she probably could have boxed for a title fight in the first fight. Really? Well, we've seen that. Right. We've seen that, and that's, we? not, I'm not, not, and that's not being big-headed or saying that she's better than what she is, but some of the opponents I've seen boxed for world title fights. Sandy definitely could have boxed for a world title fight. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that she was ready to box for one, but she could have boxed one and probably won one against a real um, under-achievable uh, opponent, <laughs> basically. But um, all in all, everything's gone. The camp's gone well. Camp's gone well, but you know, there's. She is gonna be very special. I feel that's how I see it. I think she'll be a very special fighter, and like I said, the only thing that beats Sandy Ryan is Sandy Ryan. Um, and when I, I'll, I'll put statements out there, and I'll say that um, I want to see another girl give her a right good test. Yeah. I want to see it. I want to bring somebody to give her a right good test. And I think Chantal Cameron could be the girl. She could be the girl. I know that I shouldn't call people's names, but I think Chantal's, I mean, they're both at 140. She might move up to 147, but 147 is even easier for Sandy to make <laughs> than 140. It's not even a problem. But, like I said, we look, take care of our business. She takes care of her business, and we'll meet down the road, hopefully. And that'll be a massive, massive, massive fight. Something else I want to touch on, so we've touched on Sandy, you know, all the best for her about next week. But I just want you to, you're one of these guys, um, you, you know, like you said, you run your own security company, you're an established coach, you're an ex-fighter yourself, you've got One Nation Boxing Academy here in Derby, yeah. and you're not one of these that likes to sing their own praises, mm. but I want you to tell us the names of the fighters that you've got in here so we can start getting behind One Nation. Well, we've got one just over there. Called come and say hello. Horrible Harry Scarf. Come and, come and say hello. Well, I, I know who he is, but you're going to have to sit down now. Come and say come hello. Seat, son. Jump in, son. Get in oh. close, though, because uh, me and this wide angle just doesn't... There we go. Lance nice Snyder's, by the way, and it's raining outside. Yeah, you know, when, when you've got a nice car to drive up in, it don't matter, does it? Hey, hey, hey. 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 Anyway, back come over. On. Back over to... Introduce yourself. Yeah. I'm Harry Scarf. Horrible Harry Scarf. Um, but people that don't know me, I've, I've been English champion at Super Waterweight. Um, and then I've boxed on, that was, that was on a Channel 5 live show. Um, and then I boxed on Sky, I boxed Fowler. And then I boxed um, Troy Williamson on BT in a very controversial decision, you know. And since that fight, I've um, been open to two weight categories. And then I've had nothing come up. You know, I've sort of been um, starved of opportunities after that because I'm a high risk, low reward fighter without a belt or without a, um, you know, backing of a platform on, on the TV, then um, no one's really wanted to fight me. So I've been about, what's it been, probably a year and a half where, you know, I've been, I've had no, nothing, where I've had nothing. So, and I think we're very close to um, having a fight. So hopefully... Next couple of days, we'll get something finalised and then I can be back into a proper fight. Because I've been wanting to have proper fights and they've just not been coming up, you know, so. Boxing is very, very cruel and yep. good fighters can often get shelved if they're not out there in the limelight. But I want you to let how we can, let the viewers know how we can follow you, get behind you, follow your journey, your road back up to where you left off, what, a year and a half ago? Yeah, um, yeah, just, you know, on, on social media, Harry Scarf. Um, I'm putting a few bits up and obviously One Nation boxing page, they're doing well on there a little bit. And then, um, yeah, that's it. But I will be taking this opportunity and I think, I think I'm currently about 10th welterweight in the UK. Um, and I'm not bothered about fighting any of the welterweights absolutely any of them and and that's my proper weight now you know like i said i've had i've had quite high profile fights you know before and obviously been english champion but that was that was while i was playing at it and now i'm i'm proper on it i'm at my proper weight as well um and that's it i'm i'm ready to go i'm going to touch on that you talk about you were playing at it how important is it as a fighter to really stay on their game? This is something that you can't afford to play at. You've got yeah. to be in it 100 or nothing. It's yeah. an all or nothing sport. Yeah. 
talk to us a little bit about that? Well, it's um, yeah, it's an all-or-nothing sport. I think since I've, it was um, COVID really. In the, in you know when we went into the first lockdown, um, I just came in the gym, stayed in the gym, and then didn't go back to work after that. You know, done bits and bobs obviously to keep myself ticking over because obviously I haven't had a lot of fights. Um, but no, it's 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 hard. You know, it's a, it's a hard game. You know, when especially when you're not getting opportunities. Um, yeah. So what can we expect from you? What can the fans of boxing, the welterweight division, what can we expect from you in the coming months? Yeah, I think they can expect a different Harry Scarf. I know I can be horrible. People have seen that in the past, but my boxing's good now. And people that I used to spar and used to struggle with, it's easy work when I've been sparring. I've, I struggle to get good sparring. Like I've sparred some top fighters, and to be honest, I've, over the last year, I've struggled to get good rounds out of them all. And on your social media then, what's your at so we can get behind you and start supporting you? Let's get behind the Derby fighters, you know, a part of the Midlands that's often left out. You tend to, like, get the Southern, the yeah. Northern, and then the Midlands band is often just left in the dark. So how can yeah. we get behind you and start supporting you? Um, just, yeah, at Harry Scarf on, on social media, that's it. I mean, back to saying about, you know, who I've been in with and the level I've mixed it at. You know, I've been in with all sorts. I've been in with Billy Joe, Kel Brook, Liam Williams, loads of spark, loads of times. I've been in up there at, at Ingalls Gym. And then um, all the fighters, you know, Echo, who I used to spar with before I called him out and he was at my weight, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, they're all good, good sparring for me. McKinson went down there. I belong at this level. I'm comfortable at this level as well. And that's what it is. I'm, I'm comfortable with these fighters. I'm not struggling in these spars, put it that way. We like that. We like a bit of confidence. Yeah. Harry, welcome back. I'm looking forward to seeing you out again. You're in safe hands. 26. Here we go. Pop, get pass, pass back the mic so we can hear him. Uh, the 26th of March, Wembley. No, no, I haven't got the opponent's names yet. Oh, I have, but I'm not allowed to say. But uh, 26th of March on the... Uh, Skyboxer show, isn't it? The Skyboxer yeah. show. Uh, I, I was about to crumble then. I was thinking, I'm yeah. not going to be there because I'm at the Boxer show. But you've just... So yeah. I'll get to yeah, see you yeah, out. Yeah. That's absolutely yeah, fantastic yeah. news. Here yeah. we go. We've got um, some more fighters in here. We've got Alex Fearing out of the weekend. He's boxing Jamie Stewart for the Midlands area uh, welterweight tile. We've also got Myron Mills. Myron Skills Mills, English champion. He's boxing um, probably May, defending his English title against uh, Hamid Gaz. We've also got my fighter from Belgium, Nabil Messer. Absolutely, 8-0, eight, eight knockouts. He's boxing on my show on the 9th of April, so we need to tune into that one. Also, 9th of April, before you carry on, 9th of April, you've got your own show, where is it and how can we get tickets? It's, uh, it's at The Reach uh, on Pride Park in Derby. Um, tickets available on um, Eventbrite, look it up, They'll, it's not up as yet, but they will be up in the next couple of hours. Um, or just ring, uh, just ring me, or hit, inbox me on uh, One Nation Boxing. That's the best place to get it. But uh, yeah, we've got, we've got, listen, there's some good talent here. My son should get his license back very soon, so that's going to be... I cannot wait for that. Watch, wait, wait till he gets out. Oh, I absolutely cannot wait for that. Uh, so yeah, with the, yeah, the gym's busy. The, you know, the, the, there is some good fighters in the Midlands. There is some really good fighters in the Midlands. I just never feel that the Midlands get a... The forgotten, more, it's yeah. the forgotten band of the UK. I think since Mick Hennessy started to do a little bit of um, Midlands work um, on Channel 5. But, um, yeah, but, you know, there's, there's a lot of talent here. In this gym, we're, we're flying at the minute, so I'm happy. We're, we're just getting there, nice and steady. And push. It's like me having, like, five different chess boards and I've got to try and manoeuvre one at a time to get them in the right positions. But, you know, it's took a time. But like I said, most of the kids that have hit, the key is the most of the kids that are getting through are the kids that have come through from my amateur system. So, you know, you haven't brought kids in. You're growing them. Yeah. It, is, yeah. it is the it's, foundations. It's the conveyor belt system. 
Right. Uh, before this cuts off, because it's got a habit of doing that, because it did it when we was having a yeah. conversation last time with um, Johnny Nelson. Cliff, I just want to say thank you for letting me come to your gym. No it's important getting into the gym and speaking to you guys. Listeners, please, can you follow One Nation Boxing? They've also got their own YouTube channel, yeah. which I'm sure is going to be coming out with some content soon. We've got, some, we've got some really good content going on there, to be fair. Oh, there you go, then. Uh, but uh, thanks for coming down and uh, supporting what we're trying to do. I always will. The say you shouldn't have favourites. I don't, like, I don't like red, though. That's not my... Uh, who like, cares? It's forest, isn't it? Who cares? You look Just like diarrhoea. The rams. But we don't need Obviously. to go. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.